Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This morning's practice will be a 15 minute lower back release practice. So this will be really great to practice either in the morning when you get out of bed or at nighttime if you've had a rough day. So anyone with any lower back tension, um, we we're gonna we're gonna work through the core, releasing the hips and releasing the lower back. There will be no vinyasa for today's class. Sometimes a vinyasa type movement will aggravate lower back pain. So we're going to concentrate on just moving into um, different sequences to help you release today. So if you'd like to roll out your mat, and we're going to actually just come to our backs right away. Just kick your legs out and come down to a nice comfortable position on your backs with your knees up. And you can bring your hands to your belly. Relax the shoulders and relax the breath and just notice in this moment how it feels when you connect to the earth with the sacrum, that long lower band that runs across the bottom of the back. You should be connected with the earth. You may even feel a little bit of release in the back right here as you just lie and begin to relax, maybe that little rush of pain that might remove itself from the body. So allow that to relax, close the eyes, take a big deep breath in through the nose and let it go through the mouth. Beautiful. Connect with the breath, just notice the breath. Continue to relax the lower back. Notice in those seconds where you feel the lower back connecting more with the earth, grounding just a little bit more, releasing just a little bit more. Feeling the hips starting to fall and the spine beginning to melt into the mat. And gently open the eyes. And the first thing we're going to do to begin our lower back um, tension relief sequence is bring the right knee into the chest. You can release the toes. You don't have to flex the feet. And we'll take the other foot long. And just focus here on how it feels in that right hip. Maybe taking a little bit deeper breath on your in-breath, filling the lungs all the way up. And on your exhale, really relax that right hip as you gently draw that knee toward the chest. Feel the compression in the hip. Feel the weight of the hip fall. And just relax. Relax the arms. And release. The hips hold a lot of tension. And many times can be the cause of lower back pain. So I want to focus on opening the hips, relaxing the hips. One more nice deep breath in. Mm. Beautiful. You can bring that left knee in to meet the right. And just find any movement here that feels good. A sway side to side. Maybe a pause in the middle. Gently lifting the knees and the heels toward the chest. And then a relief. So just a very light rocking of the hips. We're not actually rolling all the way up to a seat. Just a little rock. Find something that feels good here. Maybe opening the knees in a circle of the knees. This is very therapeutic to open the knees and find some circles. And play in both directions to see what feels best for you. We'll come back to stillness. And drop both feet. Take that right leg long. And then ever so slowly and gently, we're going to bring in that left knee. And find a gentle compression in the hip as you relax. Maybe a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, release the shoulders. Nice. Begin to take your focus to your left hip. And find relaxation in that light compression. 
allowing the hip to become heavy and fall. There's no tension in the right leg at all. Use the breath to relax through the hip, the spine, the shoulders. No tension this morning or this evening, depending on when you're practicing with me. Any time is a good time. One more big breath in. Beautiful. Let's drop that left foot. And let's bring that right foot up to meet it. So both knees are up to the sky. We're going to take this to a spinal twist. Your feet are going to be about shoulder distance apart. This is a very gentle twist for the lower back. So it's best for mornings uh, when you wake up after a long sleep and you're still a little bit tight. It's a great way to um, twist out the spine. Really helps to relieve that lower back pain. So you can bring your arms to goal post, or if you're more comfortable reaching out the arms to a T, whatever works. And what I'd like you to focus on this morning is finding a little lift. So we're gonna lift both hips off the ground, and I'd like you to shift over so you draw that right hip over and then drop it on the ground. Then we're gonna drop the knees. This makes it much more gentle. You can stay here gazing at the sky, or you can take your gaze over to the left whatever feels good. Just keep it gentle. No need to intensify this to release the lower back. Breathe deep. Take one more breath here. Nice, bring the head back through center. And same thing, we're gonna lift the hips, transfer to the other hip. So slide that left hip over to the right, and then we'll drop into our twist, maybe gazing in the opposite direction. Your choice here, wherever the neck feels comfortable. Relax and breathe. Nice deep yogi breaths. Yogi sighs are welcome. So are yogi smiles. Right? Hmm. Whatever feels right as you release. After your next exhale, we're gonna bring this back through center. So lift those hips, bring them back through center. Beautiful, bring the knees back in, give yourselves another hug. Find what feels good. Beautiful, find stillness, and we're gonna come on over to our hands and knees. So however you'd like to get there, maybe dropping the feet, pulling that hip back again, and then taking a slow roll over to all fours. So we're finding tabletop position. And release the toes in the back. Remove the shoulders from the ears. Take a couple cat-cow stretches here. Cat-cows are a great way to release the spine. Pausing wherever it might feel extra yummy. I'm finding stillness in tabletop, and we're going to take a very gentle downward facing dog. So tuck the toes, and I want you to bring your focus to the bend in the knees. Keep the knees bent as generously as you can this morning or this evening, right? We're just going to keep it gentle and begin to lift the hips high. Keep the knees bent. So focus on pressing the body back toward the thighs with bent knees, maybe a pedal. 
keeping the knees bent. So we can focus on the release in that lower back. You'll notice when you drop and lower the knees, find that bend, you're able to bring that torso back to the thighs and lift through the hips and find that beautiful inverted V while releasing the lower back. Take another breath here. And then find stillness. We're gonna look up at the hands and we're just gonna walk the right foot forward coming into a low lunge. Bringing the right foot up, we're gonna drop the back knee, release those toes and keep the fingertips to the earth. So what we're doing here is we're releasing the hip flexor. Uh, many times a tight hip flexor will uh, aggravate the lower back. A nice stretch for the hip flexor uh, is a wonderful thing and it goes a long way. Take a peek down and make sure that your ankle and your knee are in alignment. And then let's take that right hand to the right knee and take a little twist here. We're gonna look out over that right shoulder. And just breathe, feel the stretch in the front of the leg. One more breath. Nice, and we'll bring the fingertips to the earth. And we're gonna lift that back leg and we're just gonna step up to meet that right foot. And I want you to heel toe your feet out to the edges of your mat. The toes are gonna fall off. The heels will stay on. Find length in the spine and then take your peace fingers and wrap them around your big toes. Let the elbows fall to the sides. Take a big breath in as you reach long through the crown of the head. Exhale, fold it on down. Beautiful. Soften the knees to release the lower back. And then on an inhale, we'll press up to the fingertips. Heel, toe the feet, back in, step back to downward facing dog. Bend the knees, press the body back, lift the tailbone. Take a breath. And then gently step forward with the left foot. Align the ankle and the knee, and then we'll drop the back knee. Release the toes. And rise up for a moment, just check that alignment. Make sure you can see your toes over your knee. And then place the fingertips back to the earth. I'm gonna fall into that right hip, open the right hip. Feel that stretch on the right hip flexor. And if you'd like, you can take your hand in front of the left knee and maybe take a gentle twist here, looking out over the left shoulder. Breathe. One more breath. And release, and we'll tuck those back toes. And again, step up to meet the left foot. Heel toe the feet out wide. Heels will stay on the mat, toes will fall off. Beautiful, take the peace fingers to the big toes. Big inhale as we lengthen the spine, reach out with the head. Exhale, fold, let the elbows fall out. Two breaths. Bring the fingertips to the earth and we're gonna drop the hips and come right into Malasana. Beautiful hip opener. Hands come to the heart and the elbows can come inside the knees. Draw the thumbs to the heart. And breathe. Two more breaths. Beautiful, fingertips to the earth, let the hips rise up. 
And you're going to step back, downward facing dog. Bend those knees, torso to the thighs, lift through the tailbone, take two breaths. Beautiful. Let's just shift down, drop the knees, come back to tabletop. Take a cat cow stretch or two, release those toes. Beautiful. And then find your way to a seat and bring the feet together soles of the feet together. Take a big inhale, couple cat cows here. Big inhale, lift the heart space. Exhale, round the back, drop the chin toward the chest. Inhale, look up, heart space rises. Exhale, round. Two more times. Hold here, walk the fingers, the hands, maybe to the toes, and just find a passive stretch here. So let your head drop and back round out. Relax. Take two breaths. And then gently roll your way back up to a seat and find easy pose. Sitting up nice and tall. Hmm. Close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Let it go through the mouth. Hmm. Beautiful. Gently open your eyes. Take a big breath in all the way to the top. Let the palms touch on your exhale. Hands to heart center. Beautiful. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope this helps you release some tension in the body, in the spine, in the lower back, and in your life. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Thanks, Yogi. Hope you enjoyed this short practice today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and have an awesome sunshiny day. Love you all. Namaste.